Avantika, coming to you first, we have seen a spate of orders from the courts with scathing observations, starting with the most recent instance with Zenith Infotech winding up the petition. Winding up petition. Well, Vivek, that's right. Some of those recent Bombay High Court judgments have made some very strong comments on the conduct of corporate entities as well as their management. Now, in this specific case of Zenith Infotech, they have specifically come down on the promoters and the directors of the company. The order states that the promoters were dishonest and had a single agenda of self-interest, that they made dishonest claims under oath. It even goes on to state that it was the promoters who were responsible for siphoning away funds. Now, the Zenith case was a winding a petition that had been filed by the company's FCCB bondholders. The reason the Bombay High Court came down so strongly on the promoters was that initially the agreement had been that the company would sell uh, one of their MSD business arms and that the proceeds of this sale would go towards repaying the bondholders. The promoters in turn allegedly did not keep up to this agreement and instead diverted those funds to their entity in Dubai. So it's quite evident that while corporate entities have been faulted uh, for the non-payment of the default, the Bombay High Court has slam the promoters. Uh, essentially what we see when defaults take place is that only questions uh, that are taken into consideration are how can the dues be paid back, what assets can be sold, the process of this uh, sale, etc. But the question of liability, of who is really responsible for it, very often uh, actually escapes discussion. But clearly the judiciary has taken cognizance. Back to you. Avantika, also take us through some of the other orders that were passed, especially against Videocon and Majestic Infracon, the company that was promoted by Shahid Balwa and Vinod Goenka. Again, there, there was some very strong commentary coming in from the courts. Well, Vivek, these two orders are also particularly interesting. Let me start with the Videocon order. This was a case of non-payment of dues to a foreign lender. Here, the Bombay High Court actually slammed uh, both the conduct of the management and the entity. They have said that there was a clear attempt by the company to create hurdles in the recovery of dues and that the person who was aware of the meetings and discussions that actually led to the agreement between the company and its lender, this specific person had refused to take oath and this, in fact, had led to further the issues. Uh, now, the order goes on to state that the company's conduct had been reckless. Uh, now, one very important observation by the bench was that commercial morality is a matter of public interest. This comment I really want to highlight because, in a sense, it throws light on why the judiciary has so actively stepped in and come down so heavily on India Inc. Uh, now, let me also take you through the order on Majestic Infra. This was a winding up petition filed by Etisalat against an Indian uh, JV Etisalat DB. The petition was filed on grounds of the Supreme Court order quashing 2G licenses and the alleged involvement of the uh, main promoter Shahid Balwa and Vinod Goenka in the scam. Now here the bench was not convinced of the scheme of revival that had been submitted by the company. The order held that the scheme was designed to conceal data and that it demonstrated a non-serious and frivolous nature of the scheme. Uh, so all in all, it's very evident that the judiciary has felt the need to make uh, such scathing observations and to ensure that corporates don't brush aside their liability and that they do toe the line on issues of commercial conduct.